Is Nibiru Planet X behind the third recent explosion on the Sun? The third asteroid impact on the Sun, that is, that's what caused the Sun explosion. And uh, there's a little video you can watch, it's only four minutes, it goes fast though, because he has a program where he shows how the planets rotate around the Sun, our solar system, and where Nibiru is, uh, it's past uh, Jupiter's orbit and coming in fast. Now, a huge mysterious explosion occurred on the far side of the Sun, March 20th, 2020, and also on April 12th, 2020, and again six days after that, April 18th, was the third explosion, and it was picked up by NASA satellites and is believed to be asteroids impacting our Sun on, three of the, on, all, on those three occasions. So many impacts in, in such a short time frame is unusual and might suggest that a massive celestial body could be influencing space rocks and coming, that are coming and impacting the sun. Space watcher Tio Abandom, who monitors the solar system, claims Nibiru is headed our way and could be the cause of the sudden frequent asteroid collisions impacting our sun. And he's not the only one saying that Nibiru is outside of Jupiter's orbit. And you'll see what he comes up with here. He has Nibiru's distance from Earth uh, in uh, March, April was um, the radius. The distance was about uh, five some odd uh, AUs from our Earth. It's all, it was also the same exact distance from the Sun. And um, now it doesn't go into how many impacts or close impacts we had on Earth, but we have had quite a few close impacts towards our moon, you know, I mean, I don't know if they're usual or unusual, but we're talking about the sun here. Um, what would happen if this indeed was the case and Nibiru is heading our way and will pass near our sun? Will its gravity result in planetary changes or affect our sun leading to planetary chaos? Well, we don't know. It depends on how big Nibiru is. And it says here Nibiru object type comet. Um, Rise is not applicable, transit not applicable, sets not applicable, constellation name Copernicus, azimuth 75 degrees 58.955 minutes, uh, altitude minus 41 degrees, um, radius 43,462.69.2 kilometers, uh, apparent magnitude 6.82, and it shows how it's coming in, and uh, it, uh, according to the um, orbits of our planets, uh, it should be coming in quite close to us uh, March of next year, March 21st of next year, of 2021. So I'll let you see the video on this. This is on Bended Reality. Uh, tell me what you think. It's only a four-minute video, but he's, he's got, I don't know where... Uh, who made this program showing the solar system and Nibiru coming in? Who, whose program is this? I have no idea. But it's very easy to understand, even though he's speaking Spanish. And tell me what you think about this. This is on Bended Reality. Thank you. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Capota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.